Welcome to Woman to Woman today. I'm your host, Jen Maceda, where we're having intimate conversations with inspiring women while sharing tips and tricks with fun projects that will teach you something new. We want this show to be a bright spot in your lives. Now listen, if you've always wanted to get your kids excited about cooking or want some tips on getting them to swallow more fruits and vegetables, you need to keep watching today's show. With us today is Kelly Berry, the owner of Little Chefs. Kelly has been cooking passionately since the age of three and knows how children love to get involved in the kitchen. She's dedicated to teaching healthy lifestyle choices and loves to cook for her family and friends and now Kelly is with us on Woman to Woman today. Welcome, Kelly. Thank you, Jen. Thanks for being here. This is so fun. Good, so tell me a bit about how this all started. Well, I, I went to law school and I practiced law for several years and then I took a break to have children and then I felt like I was missing something and that I wasn't doing exactly what my life purpose was so I decided to do some soul searching and I in a vision I know that sounds crazy no realized exactly what I was supposed to be doing I was supposed to be cooking with children really and it was supposed to be called little chefs incredible so when you were growing up you always wanted to be a lawyer you wanted to be in the legal field tell me about that I wanted to be successful okay Done, that's it, no matter what you did. Yeah. And, and how do you think you came up with, um, with that feeling or that, that sense that no matter what I do, I, I need to be the top of what I'm doing? Well, I think I was very focused on school and I wanted to do my best at school and I knew that doing my best at school meant that I'd find the calling that I was supposed to be in and I thought that meant being a lawyer and I loved being an attorney, I really yeah. loved it, yeah. but it didn't quite satisfy my deep passion yeah. and I think it's really interesting and neat and um, so fulfilling to find your true passion and, and do it. Absolutely. So how did you come up with the concept of Little Chefs and, and how did you know that cooking was the way for you to go? So I, I guess I realized that Little Chefs was something that needed to be created because I struggle to cook with my children. It's a Me frustrating <laughs> process. Yeah. And I thought, I love to cook, yeah. and I have a pretty high tolerance for um, and patience level for children, and I thought, I can help people with this. That's great. How many kids do you have? I have three children. Wow, that's incredible. So have you always loved cooking? Always. I've always yeah. loved cooking since the time I could remember. One of my favorite Christmas presents was a trash bag full of cooking supplies and on Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings I did not watch cartoons I watched cooking shows like Julia Child oh that's and beautiful it really has just you can't make someone love cooking it's yeah. kind of something you have to be born with okay and and um, although you're gonna be inspiring some people that maybe I mean take for instance I, I would love to learn <laughs> how to cook and love to be inspired to cook and uh, I feel like getting a, a recipe book and selecting something that I can follow instructions with is is good for me yeah. but I would love to be able to inspire my daughter to love cooking so I can imagine that programs like yours that where a child doesn't have that that sense of experience in their own homes this is going to be an opportunity to really change kids lives well absolutely and sometimes if parents not everybody loves to cook but they but if if a child loves to cook sometimes a little chef's class will te make the child teach the parents some new things to that's teach great. them a passion teach them to get involved and to love it that's great uh, so tell me about this business model um, it, it, you know you came you came up with the concept um, how did you launch it and and you know what's your inspiration in that who gave you that courage to to really reach for your passion uh, well I think that my passion I finally realized what I wanted to do I knew what my passion was and then I followed in the footsteps of my husband who owns his own business and he gave me all the support in the world so he told me the first steps and then I was off and running. That's awesome. That's good to have somebody in your oh, life yeah. that, that is, um, is so so supportive. Mm -hmm. um, and I can imagine it took you a great deal of time to create the business. Starting a new business is never easy. So mm -hmm. what, what were some of the hurdles that you can share with our, with our um, viewers? I knew I wanted to teach children how to cook healthy food. I didn't know where, I didn't know how, I didn't know who, <laughs> and that took time. Yeah. Why healthy food? I mean, I, you know. Healthy food, they, I'm very. Kids don't like eating healthy food. Well, because so my much. children don't like eating healthy food, <laughs> so I have to find a way to make them enjoy it. I'm extremely dedicated to health and fitness and to teaching my children and all of my nieces and nephews and anyone who will listen yeah. about making healthy choices. That's great. So what are some of the things that you cook? 
oh, I can, we have made some of the craziest menus and it just inspires me every day what families can come with, up with. I say, if you give me an inspiration, I'll make a menu for it. Okay, so like bacon. <laughs> That kind of inspiration where you say, I have never or a made, I, well, I say no hot dogs allowed so that we don't, okay. generally speaking, we don't do uh -oh. high nitrate foods okay. like bacon or <laughs> hot dogs. But they have low nitrate. Yes. Examples so we of that. so we do um, we we do a lot of we do Mexican, Italian, okay. we do Greek, we do steakhouse, we do nice. typical American burgers made with turkey or veggie burgers. Oh, okay. I've made meatballs. I've made Turkish food. It whatever sushi um, children wow will come up with some really inspiring things and then I learn how to make it oh that's fantastic so they give you an idea and then and I run you, with it you craft the entire recipe and then they approve it always I okay. send them a menu and they oh, um, uh, they can um, decide if that's the right direction they want to go in yeah that's great yeah. what do you think um, you could have learned early on uh, you know I mean it's quite a shift in your career yeah. um, to, to do something uh, that bold um, you know the the legal legal Avenue yeah. is is something that a totally lot of different. people feel is the epitome of success lawyer doctor um, yeah. what if you could go back in time and someone could say something to you early on um, what would it be what would have been helpful well, I think that starting a business, you have to have a lot of confidence and courage, and you have to be um, very patient and persistent. I think that I would never regret going to law school and being an attorney for as many years as I was, because that was absolutely amazing and totally satisfying as well. I think it was a stepping stone. Ah, uh, that's great. What, what kind of um, legal? I was a personal injury on? attorney. Okay. And I loved very, it. Very rewarding. It was. Yeah, that's great. So you've had two opportunities yeah. to to do an amazing career. That's fantastic. There was a lag time while I was having children that I felt like I had lost a piece of myself. So this has given me a new um, purpose in life. Well, tell me about that. I, I thought a part of my identity had been lost, and that okay. I, that attorney part of my identity, I felt like I was uh, I lost it a little bit, and I was confused for a little while as to what I was going to do with myself. I realize now that it's not lost, it's still there. Yeah. I just started a new path. That's awesome. So tell me about the vision, because I think, I think people um, see signs and they ignore them or they're, they're not uh, you know, confident enough to say, that was, really, that was really what I was supposed to hold on to and, and, uh, and make a move towards. Timing is everything. I had to wait until the right time. Yeah. I always knew there was something and it had to be at the right time. My youngest is four years old now and he's in preschool more and he, it allowed me some more time. I had to spend time with my children while I had time with my children and now I have more time so I can put it into my passion and my purpose. That's great. Tell me something really fun about your job. What's what's your favorite part of the job? Oh, my favorite part. I have so many favorite <laughs> parts. The biggest compliment anyone can give me, and it has been said to me so many times, is that like they don't know who's having more fun, me or the children, ah, because great. I just love it. But what is my favorite part of my job is absolutely seeing children enjoy the food we made, they made. Together. Together. Yeah. Yeah. To see them be like, mm, this is good. It is so rewarding. Yeah. <laughs> what's a typical day like? For me, I, get, yeah. I wake up early, I get the children off to school, okay. I definitely exercise, I have to do that. And then um, I will spend hours, sometimes I am on the road, going places, marketing, meeting with people, pitching my company to people, seeing if they are interested, whether it's daycares or after school programs, or rec departments, or camps. Um, I spend a lot of time returning emails and um, making sure that I have all my ducks in a row and my customers are happy, which they always are. Yeah. And then, um, but then the day is over because I have to get my children again. Yeah. yeah. And then it's back, back to mom duty. That's right. Absolutely. Well, first, kind of set up what happens in a little chef's event. Like, how, how do you, um, you have very different ones from birthdays to, you know, mm -hmm. camps like you were mentioning. Um, share with us how it's set up. So a uh, little chef's class always starts with the children washing their hands because we we have to push the sanitary component and hygienic component of our of our uh, what we're doing because these are children and they are dirty little monsters. So we always wash our hands and then almost always we will make a fruit smoothie because first of all they are just 
powerful power foods that I think any child should love and most do. But also I don't want the kids to be hungry while we're cooking. So I give them a little something to nosh on. And then we'll start right in with cooking whatever the menu is for the day. And we take a break because children do not have a long attention span. So we always take a break to do a craft project and then we'll get back to cooking. And then if we have a moment, we will do an activity such as a little dance party or a yoga exercise like a salute the sun and then we'll get back to cooking. And then finally, throughout the course of the class, we will eat what, what we make. What? And then there's usually leftovers and the children get to take it home. That's awesome. How did you come up with that entire curriculum? Because it's brilliant. I mean, you know that they, they have a short attention span. You've done some relaxation <laughs> techniques within that. Where, where did you come up with that concept? I did demo classes with my friends and my family. And I realized <laughs> we need to do a craft and we need to do something to get the energy out. Yeah. That's my great. classes start at a very young age. I, uh, we teach classes to children as young as three years old, okay. and their attention span is very short. While they love it, yeah. it's very short, so I knew I had to come up with some breaks. What do you do with a three-year-old? That's incredible. That's oh. really young. Is it <laughs> lots of, lots of hands-on getting messy? How is that? We practice cracking eggs, and oh, we practice no. measuring, and it's messy, but we are very patient with them. I have helpers, always have helpers with me to um, yeah. help me keep on target and clean. We wash hands a lot. Yeah. We sing songs sometimes. I give them breaks, but they love it. That's fantastic. Share with us a really funny story, if you would, something that's happened, because I'm sure you've had some experiences that are really hilarious. Can you share? I have a lot of really funny stories, but when I started Little Chefs, I started out researching healthy recipes, because I make several, but I wanted to expand my um, recipe base. So I was asked to make cupcakes for my son's school for Valentine's Day, and I was very excited about being healthy. So I made these chocolate cupcakes out of whole wheat flour, and the frosting was made out of Greek yogurt with maple syrup. I put a couple dots of red food coloring in there to make it festive, sure. and I thought they were wonderful. Well, I was so proud of myself. <laughs> I brought them to Owen's school, and not one single child ate it. Oh, no. <laughs> it was a life lesson. It was a professional life lesson right there that I knew if I was going to be cooking for children, if I was going to be cooking with children, the food had to taste good. That's right. And I could sacrifice a little on the healthy in the interest of making it edible. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great idea. That's yep. really funny. Um, so, what it, what do some of the kids do that um, you know that surprises you? What people, what children like and don't like surprises me. Really? There are children so more than you would ever guess yeah. that do not like chocolate. Okay. Or cheese. Yeah. That shocks me. But they'll be like, but I would like the extra spinach, please. That's like, fantastic. This is brilliant. Every single yeah. child will surprise me. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, I, when I go to birthday parties with the kids. My kids don't eat cake. They just don't eat cake. I could probably yeah. eat the whole cake myself and they are just not interested in cake. Um, so I, yeah, I can, I can see that. Yeah. They never liked pizza. It's like a relatively new. Yeah, yeah I, I think you just have to give, give samples a lot and, and uh, cross your fingers and make it, like you say, make it tasty. Make it tasty. Um, I, I always, them. One, uh, my second rule, rule number one, is that we always wash our hands. Rule number two is that I ask that every Little Chef student tries what we make. They don't have to like it. They don't have to have a big taste, a very small taste. That's great. Because they might like it. There you go. And they're not just learning about cooking. They're also learning about math and science and, mm -hmm. right, what, any, anything else? Well, measuring alone is a great uh, lesson in math because it's a, a, a lot of fractions and adding. and But not just math. It's also a um, lesson in patience because they have to take several steps to get to the finished product. Well, it's brilliant. We are so grateful that you are here with us today and um, we want folks to stick around. We're gonna take a short break and be right back with some adorable kids <laughs> and a cooking demonstration that you do not wanna miss. Thank you so much, Kelly. So you see, son, good manners are important. Should I go through it again? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Exactly. Always say please, thank you, you're welcome. Excuse me, sit up straight, hold doors open for ladies. If the door's locked, knock first. Don't burp, don't swear, don't stare, don't use bad language. Or talk with your mouthful, keep your elbows off the table. What table? Don't interrupt. Cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. On the bus, give your seat up to anybody who has trouble standing. Bottom line, treat others the way you want to be treated. Got it? Got it. Good talk. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. I'm Jenny Garth. And as a mother of three, I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. But here in America, that is a real worry for one in five children. 
This is unacceptable and something Feeding America is working to solve. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States, including yours. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free, handsome. Oh, I think we're breathtaking. And here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, Chief. I got this. <coughs> Is that brand? <laughs> Colleges love extracurricular activities. Well, uh, chess really isn't my thing. I got this. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Picking a college, man. You and us go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Fire and ice. Those don't really go together. Go to GetSchool.com for more info. Welcome back to Woman to Woman today, where we inspire women to reach their goals and learn something new each show. I'm your host, Jen Maceda, and we're here with Kelly Berry, owner of Little Chefs, who's joined us to show us how to make meals with kids. Hi again, Kelly. Well, hello. It's what so are we going to do here? here? Today, we're going to make healthy banana chocolate chip muffins, which is a favorite of my little chefs that I have here today. Can you tell us who our friends are? Oh, I'd love to. This is my nephew, Max. He, how old are you, Max? Seven. Awesome. This is my daughter, Maddie. How old are you? Seven. Who is this? Miles. And how old are you? Five. I'm Charlotte and I'm six. You're a natural. I'm Bella and I'm eight. Perfect. I'm Keely and I'm seven. Well, welcome to Woman to Woman today. One more. Two more. Two more. <laughs> We'll come back to you. That's Jackson. He's five. <laughs> and what's your name? <laughs> That's oh, Owen, and he's that. four. That's a big difference. All right. Does, does anyone here like to cook? Raise your hand. Awesome. Well, you came to the right place because what are we making today, Kelly? We're making banana chocolate chip muffins. That is awesome. So in a typical setting, um, you would have kids with their apron. Everybody gets an apron. Everybody gets an apron. That's awesome. And we get messy. Yes. And you bring all the ingredients. Yes, I do. That is awesome. And even the equipment, too. Is that right? If I need to, I do. Perfect. OK. Because yes. sometimes you're, you're not actually baking. You're just concocting, putting things, Absolutely. Putting things together. All right. That's yes. brilliant. All right, so tell it, kind of set it up for us if you would. Okay. Everybody has a, how do you set up the kids' programs? So everybody, one of the most important things for children in cooking is that they each get a job so they feel like they're a part of this process. So we're gonna start with my nephew, Max, and he's gonna, what are you gonna do, Max? Would you like to tell us? Peel three bananas. There you awesome. go. So while he's doing that, I'll quickly tell you what the st step is. He's gonna peel the bananas and he's gonna mash them up really small because nobody likes a banana muffin with chunks of banana in it. We like to make it really hard to tell there are actually bananas in there. And something that you told us in the, in the previous segment, what was the oh. first thing that they all have already done? Rule number one, wash your hands. Okay, good idea. So everyone has washed their hands. Okay, now Maddie, while Max is working on the bananas, I'm gonna help you crack the eggs. So, I'm gonna put you down for one moment, Owen, because your job's coming up. Two eggs. Two eggs. Ready? I'm gonna help you. Job, Grab. Cracking eggs is a really important skill for children to have because when you're baking, you need eggs for almost everything. Open it up. There you go. I'm gonna put that in the garbage bowl. That's great. And here's egg number two. And she is gonna go ahead, once we get this cracked, and she's going to stir up the eggs. That's the great thing about kids. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> and you just have to kind of go along with it. That's okay. Awesome. Who's next? Who remembers who's Third next? Banana. Molly? What's your job, honey? Um, pour applesauce in. There you go. Can you pour the applesauce into the bowl? Can you go ahead and pour the applesauce in? And tell us why you're using applesauce, because I think that's really interesting. More and more rep, um, recipes have applesauce and... Absolutely. What? 
I have modified this very traditional um, banana muffin. In with, I've taken out half of the sugar and and supplemented the applesauce. It makes it moist and it takes away the sh the raw sugar that is just not nearly as healthy. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's keep mashing up these bananas and I think we're to Charlotte. All right, Charlotte, what's your what's your role here? Charlotte Grace, what's your job? I'm gonna pour the um, flour into the bowl and I'm gonna mix the bowl. Very okay, cool. Okay, go ahead, honey. And what so kind this, of flour? This yeah. is a mix of half white and half wheat because like I said, we, I made a mistake of doing all wheat on a cupcake recipe, mm. and the children don't like it. Okay, they so can tell half, right half away. And half. So yep. at least you get some of the better health, so the fiber yeah, from the whole fiber. flour. Absolutely. All right, perfect. Keep mixing. Great job. All right, I think we're up to Molly. Did you do your step yet? Yes. Okay, Bella. It smells so good. Mom. What's your job, Bell? I'm going to pour the sugar. This You're is sugar. Now sugar. this is the other half a cup of plain um, white sugar, which makes it taste good, but isn't the most healthy. Go okay. ahead and drop that in. And, and it's Matt, not very much of it, right? It's just a half okay. a cup. You can go ahead and drop this in. Excellent. Let's see, who's next? Bella did her job. Kaylee. Kaylee, what's your job? Um, chocolate chips? My job is um, putting the chocolate chips into there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course Aww. you have to taste them. <laughs> okay, Kaylee. Okay, sounds good. Those are delicious. I don't Everyone's blame anybody. Everyone's gonna get to try a muffin in just a bit of time now. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have done that now. I'm... That's all right. Okay. No. I stole a chocolate chip. We kind of go with the flow in That's little chef classes. Okay. <laughs> That's not fair. Kaylee, go ahead and drop that in. Awesome job. And I think, Owen, your job is this, right? That this is a baking powder and salt. <coughs> there you go. Thank you. And finally, we have Jackson yeah. over here. Okay, girls, let's give the book to Jackson. Oh, Jackson, how you, you got to do the up? butter. So now okay, I have decreased Don't the butter, um, butter to just a quarter of a cup of butter, and okay. the other quarter of a cup is olive oil because it's just better oh, for you. That's interesting. And more heart healthy. <laughs> Go ahead and, and drop that in. And the flavor, it doesn't change it that much. Not that at all. Is. No one okay. would even notice it. That's a great idea. Okay, let's use the spoon. Yeah. Here you go. <coughs> awesome. That looks delicious. Great job, guys. So now we mix it up till it's really mixed together. I'm hungry. Oh, mm, we have hungry me too. Kids. We're gonna have banana I'm muffins. muffins. Yum me. Okay. Yeah, but guess I what? You I'm do? gonna put this aside. What else do you love? What's another favorite Mix? food that you guys love? Pizza. Oh, that. Okay. And I'm just gonna there are healthy into ways to oven make pizza. I think we have some muffins that are ready awesome. to eat. <gasps> ah, delicious, you guys These are, are so mini lucky. muffins that we made today. Oh, but they beautiful. could be made normal or they could be made into banana bread. Who wants one? Me! <laughs> now, so this is such a great concept. You're teaching something healthy. Um, you're, you're encouraging kids to learn how to cook, math skills. Really fantastic. Kaylee, you want one? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Jackson, would you like one? Yes. So what All are right. some good tips for, like kids love pizza and they love mac and cheese. <laughs> what are some good tips for making that a little healthier? Always, well I have found with making pizza that you can easily substitute whole, whole wheat um, dough and they never notice. Okay. And you can add anything to a pizza, spinach, tomatoes, cheese, um, healthier cheese. You can add your own sauce that you make at home together. And for mac and cheese, I would just say just go lighter on the butter and okay. use some nice um, farm fresh cheese. I always encourage farm fresh any produce, anything you can get from uh, local locally sourced foods, I encourage, and we do all the time. And just do that whenever you can. That's great. And what are some of the crafts that you do with the kids? Um, you were mentioning the, the whole uh, curriculum that you yeah. have for the event. Oh, yes. So we love to decorate our own chef hats, don't we, guys? Mm -hmm. Oh, what a great idea. And we love to decorate our own flower pots with um, ceramic markers and then plant our own flowers. Yeah. And we love to do, we decorate our own placemats. I want another one. You get one, sir. Okay, save me one, though. I know. <laughs>
<laughs> That's great. Well, we're so excited that you were with us today. And guys, thank you so much for coming out. I know. We're going to have to make some more. You guys are going to have to get cracking with this cooking, right? <laughs> Be on TV. Yes, you're eating on TV. That's incredible. <laughs> so big thanks to Kelly Berry from Little Chefs and her chef volunteers. Thank you all so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Um, we want you to remember to follow, like, and subscribe to Woman to Woman today on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And follow us on YouTube. Subscribe today so you don't miss a show. Um, thanks to the entire team at Access Framingham. Thanks also to Ryan McCabe, our art director, and Jess Briswell, our assistant producer. <laughs> I'm Jen Maceda, your host of Woman to Woman today. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time, and we hope to inspire you. Thank you.